33. The problem is, who can read the problem? I can, I can. Matt? 4 plus radical t minus 2 equals z. How loud your voice is, Matt. Uh -huh. 4 plus b minus 2 equals plus b. Okay, what's the first thing we need to do? Michael? I say radical, what do you do? Drag forward to both sides. You end up with radical b minus 2 equals b minus 4. Next thing? Yes? Square each side. That was Michael Nasur. <laughs> End up with B minus 2 equals what? Foil. Come on, foil. Kyle, you need to wake up. What is it? Mm -hmm. B squared minus 8B plus 16. Come on, that's FOIL method, people. You don't even have to uh, start writing it down because that's the FOIL. That's the reason why you're doing FOIL, so you can do that thing mentally. Okay? Zero product, that means we equate it to zero. We add two and subtract B. We add two and subtract B to both sides. And up with zero equals B squared minus 9B plus 18. Power of X. You have 18. And you have negative 9. Give me the factors, Derek. Thank you, Derek Lawrence. So that means this is B minus 6 and B minus 3 equals 0. That means this is B equals 6 and B equals 3. Right? Check. Do both of these numbers work? The both of these numbers work when you check it. Think so. You yes. think so. There's no such thing as you think so. <laughs> 4 plus radical 6 minus 2 equals 6. Does that work? Yeah. Yeah. No. 6 minus 2 is 3. That's oh. 4. Yes. 4, sorry. <laughs> that means it's 4 <laughs> plus 2 equals 6. This works. How about 4 plus radical 3 minus 2 equals 3. Does that work? No. 4 plus 1 is? 4 plus radical 1 equals 3. This does not work. So radical 3, does, uh, sorry, B equals 3 does not work. So our only solution is B equals 6.